हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू डेवलपर्स एंड कोडर्स क्लब एन आई अगरतला यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे वी विल डिस्कस कोड प्रोसेस राउंड 920 डिवीजन थ्री सेकंड प्रॉब्लम अरेंजिंग कैट्स सो लेट्स टेक अ लुक एट द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट इन ऑर्डर टू टेस्ट द हाइपोथिस अबाउट द कैट्स साइंटिस्ट मस्ट अरेंज द कैट्स इन द बॉक्सेस सो ऑफकोर्स दे वुड लाइक टू टेस्ट द हाइपोथिस एंड पब्लिश अ सेंसेशनल आर्टिकल एज क्विकली एज पॉसिबल so we have n boxes okay and in that boxes k cats may or may not sit okay uh, so currently if the cat is present the array is represented as one element is one otherwise zero okay uh, so unfortunately um, unlimited production of cat has already been established so in one day scientist can take a new cat and uh, place it in the it in the box here yeah? that is changing 0 to 1 remove a cat uh, and send it to retirement that is changing 1 to 0 and move a cat from one box to another that is swapping okay swapping 1 and 0 so it has also been found that some boxes were immediately filled with cats therefore the scientists know the initial position of the cats in the boxes as s1 to sn and desired position is f1 to fn so due to large amount of paperwork we have to figure it out about this problem so uh we have to figure it out uh, figure out the minimum number of days required to test a hypothesis okay so we have test cases as firstly we have input of test cases integer uh, single integer t then n size of s and f then two string s and f okay then we have to uh, print minimum number of days so let's see the logic okay so for this one 1 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 so what i basically observe here is this both are same this both are same okay now for this two i can swap it in one day okay so i'll swap so this will become zero and this will become one so okay again this will get cancel out and this will get cancel out okay now in another day day two i will remove one cat from this that is i will convert one to zero so basically how many days two days let's take this example so 0 0 0 and 1 1 1 okay so for this one what i can do is see for 0 and 1 1 um i can also no to same uh, index are same so what i will do is i'll uh, see like uh, so on day 1 i will add one cat here uh, i will make one cat sit at this position on day 2 i will make one cat sit on this position that is converting it to 1 converting it to 1 and then on day 3 uh, uh, again this one okay so basically 3 days okay uh let's take example of this one so for this one i have 1 0 0 1 1 and this another one as this okay so okay for this i don't have to change anything for this i don't have to change anything with this okay and for the remaining what i can do in one day i can swap this okay in one day one then i uh, what i will do on another day so this will become one and this will become zero so this is also sorted okay and on another day what i can do is i'll make one cat sit over here so it will become one so on day 2 i can do this on day 3 i will 
make one cat sit over here so it will become three on day four i will make one cat sit over there so day four so basically minimum day will be day four so if i observe what was the operation i was doing so basically i was checking i was cancelling out same similar uh, elements of the at the index same, same index okay so firstly cancel out the similar index then i was checking is if swapping is possible or not okay possible or yes or no and then what i was doing i was just keep on uh, either i was making one cat to set or i was removing it okay so let's take a look at the code so basically what i have did i have taken input of n string s and x so if any of the elements like for like have a look at this index of index 1 so s of 1 is equals to s x of 1 so what it will do if uh, they are equal it will at index i from index i it will erase one element and similarly in x also okay and uh, this way i will decre keep decreasing i and keep decreasing this was the silly mistake i was doing because if we are erasing elements from s and x okay so and ba basically size of the string will decrease okay so we have to decrease this also otherwise it will give sigma error and then i will count as s of 0 s of 1 s l 0 uh, so in this what i am doing here is like uh, let's have an example of this one okay like so i have uh, this test case I have this test case so what I will do is I will first cancel out one and one then again this one and one then again this one and one okay now I am left with zero 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 and one and then one 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 and zero okay so now I will count x this is s and this is x okay so i will count s of 0 total number of zeros in s it is 4 then total number of zeros uh, ones in total number of 1 in s is 1 then in x total number of zeros is 1 and 4 okay so uh, what i have done here is so I will just count this if any of this case is like uh, like this if x1 is greater than s1 or this so what I will do I'll so I would have the basic option of swapping like I here I can swap this two or any like any of the I, I, I can make one pair of swapping okay so how i will come to know the number of pairs i can swap so basically i'll see the minimum number of like if minimum uh, minimum number of zeros are one so if zero is uh, so whatever the minimum number is like here the minimum number is one in case of s like i want to swap s now so we will check minimum number in of zero and one in s okay so minimum number is one so we can make minimum of one pair okay that is one pair that is two so we'll again make this and we'll remove this also now how many numbers I'll, i'm left with like what i am trying to say is if i swap it so now one now this four minus one let's four minus one will become three like one element 0 would have changed to 1 and in this one also one element 4 minus 1 would have changed to 0 like this one so now I am left with 3 and 0 okay
so basically i am left with three or more numbers so what i will do i'll add this the number of different elements i am left with i'll just add this okay so what i have done in my code like if this is we'll check what is the minimum we'll add minimum what i uh, just said now that we will uh, minimum number of pairs we can make depends upon the minimum of s0 and s1 so we'll add that pair and remaining of s of 0 remaining whatever is is left we'll add that uh, otherwise this okay otherwise what's the option is like i have let's say uh i have something like 0 1 and 1 0 so in this cases s of 0 is 1 s of 1 is 1 the uh, 1 and then this is so in this case both everything is equal so what we will do we will just add s of 0 like we can have a one pair no so we can add anything i have just added here s of 0 okay so and uh, so at last the number of index is remaining and we'll simply print the answer and this code will work so yes it works the remaining test case i have tried on my own so thank you